the first time since the 06-07 season, Trois and Auxerre met in a Liga Ubrix fixture, getting the weekend's action underway on Friday night. The pair came into the contest separated by just a point, but by four places in a very congested section of the table between 12th and 16th. The pass of that gap was down to Auxerre's less than ideal goal difference of minus 12, the joint second worst in the top flight. But they had improved it very slightly last time out as they edged past Ajaxio 1-0. Estax was looking healthier thanks to their impressive 24 goals scored, but they were without a win since the start of October. And the visitors who started the brighter as Gautier Ein's smart back heel from Lassine Sinioko's cross went just wide. But Twa weathered that early storm and soon started creating chances of their own. A bit of miscontrol allowing a cross from the right, which was taken off the head of Mama Belde. The ball then breaking to Ronnie Lopez, who saw his effort shaved the crossbar. More promising viewing for the on-watching Bruno Ilez. Lopez then on corner duty, headed away again, this time Xavier Chevalerin going close with an effort, but well saved by the legs of Benoit Costin. And then deep into first half injury time, Balde skipped past Ryan Revelison before squaring for Lopez. And this time the Portuguese wasn't to be denied, firing home first time. Ganebis Alves Balde is the only African player in Europe's big five leagues to have been involved in ten goals this season. The former right back has found the target seven times and this is third assist. It's fast becoming a player attracting the attention of bigger clubs in France and beyond. Estac hadn't won any of their previous seven top flight matches in the derby against Auxerre, with their last victory against them coming in October 2001, but a good chance to end that run now. Agia fought back though, Revelison looking to make amends for his role in the opener early in the second half with a thumping shot from the edge of the Trois box, which cannoned back off the post. So close yet so far for the Malagasy. Maybe just not his day. Down the other end, Twa went close to doubling the lead. 17-year-old substitute Wilson Odobert bursting into the box and beating the keeper. But seeing his goal-bound shot cleared off the line by the recovering Gideon Mensa. It was the visitors who would have the final say. A lovely defence-splitting through ball allowing Sinioko to cut back and find Gaetan Perrin. Who made no mistake to stroke home the equaliser with just four minutes left on the clock. Another substitute, but there was no clearing this one shot off the line. Perrin's second goal of the season. Balde could have snatched the win late on, but Costil forced his fierce shot over the bar. With Hugo Loris and Mike Mignon enduring injury troubles, Costil with a chance to work himself into Didier Deschamps' thoughts for the World Cup. He was on hand again at the last to turn Jackson Perozo's shot past the post. And that would be that. 1-1 at the final whistle. A draw which does little for either side in truth. But equally doesn't do too much to hurt them either.